trigonometry. This video will cover the topic finding values of trigonometric functions given information about an angle. Problem type 1. In this topic, we will be using the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the trigonometric functions at a given point. For example, if we let negative 5, 6 be a point on the terminal side of theta, find the exact values of cosine of theta, cosecant of theta, and tangent of theta. Okay, I think I understand the goal of this topic, but how can we find the terminal side of theta if negative 5, 6 is not a point on the unit circle? Good question. We can start by drawing a right triangle, where theta is the distance from x equals 0. Since the x-coordinate of the given point is negative 5, and the y-coordinate is 6, we can draw the hypotenuse as the line segment between negative 5, 0, and 0, 6. We can refer to the hypotenuse as r, and its value will be equal to the square root of negative 5 squared plus the square root of 6 squared, according to the Pythagorean theorem. Solving for r equals the square root of 61. Now that we've established the values for each side of the triangle, we can use trigonometric identities to find the cosine, cosecant, and tangent of theta, right? Exactly. Theta is the value of the angle on the terminal side. We can say that cosine is equal to negative 5 over the square root of 61, since that is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Simplifying negative 5 over the square root of 61, yields negative 5 times the square root of 61 all over 61. Next is the cosecant, which is the hypotenuse over the opposite side. Solving for this yields the square root of 61 over 6. Lastly, the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent, which simplifies to negative 6 over 5. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another quick example just to be sure? Definitely. Let negative 8, 3 be a point on the terminal side of theta. Find the exact values of sine of theta, cosecant of theta, and cotangent of theta. We can start by drawing a triangle where the adjacent side has length negative 8 in the x direction and the opposite side has length 3 in the y direction, right? Exactly. We substitute these values into the Pythagorean theorem and solve for r. r equals the square root of negative 8 squared plus 3 squared, which simplifies to the square root of 73. Next, we solve for sine which is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, 3 over the square root of 73, which simplifies to 3 times the square root of 73 all over 73. Then we can substitute the hypotenuse over the opposite side for cosecant, which results in square root of 73 over 3. Lastly, the cotangent is represented by the adjacent over the opposite side, resulting in negative 8 over 3. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We begin by drawing a right triangle where the side lengths are the x and y values from the given coordinate. Next, we determine the value of the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. Lastly, we substitute the side lengths into the trigonometric identities for the given trigonometric functions. That's right. 